something which is becoming more apparent to me nowadays, um, especially with clients, people I speak to online, um, especially when it's, you know, it's not in a personal setting, they'll say, you know, I slipped on the diet, I came with a plan. What can someone do in that instance? Are there general guidelines you might apply for them or something like that? So if someone says, I've slipped, I've... What do you mean by slipped? Do you mean on one occasion or do you mean over a period? Yes, they might say um, they've been close of alcohol on the weekend or they've eaten a whole birthday cake or something. Right, so we're talking about a short-term, one-off event or yeah. weekend or something like that. I, I usually say to people like that, look, that's going to happen from time to time. The trick is to keep that an exception and not a rule. And by exception, I mean a long, long way an exception on any given day. It should be a rarity that such things occur. It has occurred. Let's draw a line under that because I don't know whether you might have a conveniently stored time machine somewhere. I certainly don't. Ergo, there's nothing I can do about the past. I presume you're in the same boat. Shall we move forward now? And the way to move forward is to sort out the issue, isn't it? Carry on. Um, tighten up your business, say all right, do the right thing from this point forward, because that's all you've got with the no backwards rule of the universe. Yeah, let's go forward. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, like, of course, someone will accept, you know, I've made a big mistake here. I've cut myself off plan. Fine. Is there anything they can do in that immediate time frame? So, can they go for a walk or something? Can they use supplements? Is there anything that they can do to sort of mitigate some of the damage they might incur? You mean before or after they've put something in their mouth and swallowed it? So after. after. Right. Um, well, the, the answer then would be there is not really much mitigation that would be possible because the thing has been consumed. Its, it's ramifications have been unleashed on the person or will be in time to come. Um, there will be a price to pay at some level somehow. So let's just wear that and go, right, okay. On the basis of, you know, how much damage can you really do in one sitting if it's food-related or pseudo-food-like slop-related? Okay, I get that you can do a lot of damage, including kill yourself in one sitting of alcohol. I get that. And I presume we're more talking about food binges than alcohol binges. Um, you know, 